Um, okay. If you look on my site, there are scripts, comics, concept art, everything visual you see there was done by someone else. An artist. For free. Every comic I make is published. Sometimes we get paid, sometimes we're working simply to increase viewership of our own separate sites. But the more books an indie artist does and actively promotes, the more likely a publisher is to hire them. It just depends on how hard I work. And I work very hard every single day to be a man of my word. I've never sold anyone any type of dream or BS. It's just not me. I guess what I don't understand is when I posted this exact same call for artists on various art forums, I didn't receive any criticism or negativity. If someone isn't interested, they would simply not post in my thread. What's happening here is people are posting negative comments. I guess, what, to discourage other people from showing interest? When those people should honestly just have moved on to the next thread. I didn't ask for critiques on my post. I asked for artists to help me build. On the other hand, I should probably thank everyone who saw this thread and privately emailed me. Hard work is one of the things that separates the wannabes from the gonnabes. What part of I didn't ask for your opinion do you not understand? Keep your sarcasm and kindly stop posting in this thread would be my suggestion again. I guess my thing is this, I have a creative vision and I want my properties to be a success. I'm looking for and actually finding other people who have a mind akin to mine. I'm getting things done. One of the artists, one of the first that I worked with, penciled, inked, and colored four separate three-page stories for me. Those were my first stories to ever get published, and although I didn't make any money from it because it was for an anthology, I think that having more publishers like your work enough to publish it is a great way to get other publishers interested in your team. Sometimes the writer will get the nod, but most times it's the artist who gets work from these types of arrangements. Writers come a dime a dozen. In order to set yourself apart, you have to do what Andy Diggle said and just make the comics. I don't know what his views are on paying his artists, but when I think about it, when I really think about it, he just said to find them, to get it done. That's what I'm doing. If I don't have the money to pay, then I just don't have it. The artists I'm currently working with don't even care. Most, honestly, just want to produce. A painter actually sent me an email using that exact line just a few days ago. I just want to produce. Even the full-length comics that I plan on making money with, I'm getting professional-level art done for free right now. Dude, if I wanted to be an artist, I would be an artist. I post my ads looking for artists who want to work with me because they, again, just want to produce but may not know what to pencil or paint or whatever they do. I didn't think it was that difficult a concept to understand, but maybe it is. Or maybe you guys honestly don't know when you're trying to tear down someone's hard work by making it seem like nothing. <laughs> Maybe I'm just overreacting. Uh, okay, yeah, it's, it's too difficult for you to understand. Got it. <sighs> Delete me if you feel so strongly about it. If you don't want to offer what I'm asking for, cool. Yeah. I just don't see why you gotta take time out of your day to criticize and tear down my efforts. I'm obviously doing well. <laughs> Getting artists to do concept art for the site? I post something new every few days, at the least. Isn't a forum like this meant to, for uplifting and supporting your fellow writers rather than doing what you're doing? 
But maybe I should take your advice. Advice I didn't ask for, nor do I care for, by the way. And calm down. <laughs> LOL. You guys. Keep them coming. Just... Oh, I shouldn't insult other forum members. What if they need to be told how idiotic their statements are? Either way, like I said, delete me from the site if you feel I'm crossing boundaries here. I'm getting some traffic to my site, but I can honestly live without the extra hassle when all I'm doing is what the professionals will tell you is the right way to go about getting a comics career going. I haven't offended anyone I haven't meant to. How many times do we have to go over the help angle? Thanks, but I'm really not looking for that here. Your opinion? Not looking for that either. Or is that too dismissive? Due to the fact that this is a forum and I can't hear the tone in your voice, I don't know whether you're being facetious or smug or if you're actually being genuine. However, I don't know how many times I can reiterate that critiques are not what I'm looking for in this thread. Look, I know I'm not going to please everyone. I'm not trying to. What I'm trying to do is please myself. And, and this, this is a big one, so pay attention. The other people who offer to work on projects with me. I know that may be hard to understand that some artists are not looking for monetary gain, but it's true. I'm not using anyone. No one is using me. I can appreciate that some of you are business professionals and everything, but <laughs> If this is how you act, ridicule, mockery, does he really expect to be taken seriously, etc. When someone puts a simple ad asking for something in which you have no interest, I don't mind burning a bridge or two. I probably wouldn't want to work with you anyway. 